How to use solver in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can use the solver add-ins for what if analysis in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. There are some tools in Excel that are not pre-activated. You can use them in Excel, but you'll have to activate it. And those are add-ins, okay? And Solver is an add-in, and we are going to learn how to use Solver in Excel. But for that, we'll need to activate that add-in, okay? There are two ways. If you have Developer tab, click on the Developer tab, and here you'll find add-ins, and here it says Excel add-ins. If you click here, you'll find this and check mark solver add-in and click ok that will add the solver add-in if you don't have developer tab you can learn how to add developer tab here you can check this tutorial now let's learn another way to include add-ins in microsoft excel click on file click on more then options add-ins and here in this drop down you must select excel add-ins okay there are a lot of option but you need to select excel add-in and then click on go and you'll find the same dialog box here from here check mark solver add-in click ok it will take a moment and then if you click on the data tab you'll find this menu it will say solver okay now if you hover your mouse on the solver icon it will say what if analysis tool that finds the optimal value of a target cell by changing the value in cells used to calculate the target cell. In plain word, if you have a formula here and you have a lot of cells that requires input value, you just select the result or formula output here and everything will be done by solver. And it actually an advanced feature of goal seek tool that we learn how to use it in goal seek you can only change one input value in solver we can change multiple input value remember goal seek or solver doesn't change your formula it only changes the input value okay so with that said let's understand the scenario here we have four container container one two three four and we have four shipment each year now we have requirements we have to maintain these shipment units okay shipment one if you add all four container you must ship 30,000 unit and shipment two 25,000 shipment three 15,000 and shipment four 12,500 okay now we have different price range for different container here per unit cost for container one is this amount and this is for the container 2 and 3 and 4 now we need to find out the minimum total cost okay here we have total cost we need to minimize the shipping cost okay now there are a few things we need to consider also each container must have at least 3000 units to be qualified for shipping so that means in each shipment each container have to have at least 3000 unit okay and we have also maximum capacity for each container. Container 1 has 10,000 unit, 2, 8,000 unit, container 3, 7,500 unit, and container 4 has 5,000 unit. It's because of the container size. So we have a minimum requirement, we have maximum capacity for each container, and we have a shipment requirement here. Okay. Now we need to find out how we should ship this product or which container we should fill up first to get the minimum shipping cost okay in this scenario we are going to use the solver add-in okay now click on solver now here set objective now select this cell so this is the cell we need to change okay and we need to find the minimum value here so i'm going to select the minimum okay now by changing variable cell so these are the input cell where we can add the unit number okay total unit set okay now we need to provide the conditions so these conditions should be provided here so let's click on add the first 
condition we have each container must have at least 3000 units to be qualified for shipping so all this cell must have a value of at least 3000 okay so greater than or equal to 3000 i'm going to add this now we have our maximum capacity for each container so select the first container for each shipment and it cannot exceed 10,000 unit click add let's select the second container it cannot exceed 8,000 unit now the third container the limit is 7,500 the fourth container is 5,000 so select this okay now the shipment requirement must be filled so these are the shipment requirement and we need to maintain that in each shipment and these should be exactly the same with this first cell reference we have this and then we need to select equal to and the second is our target we must maintain this this was the last condition so if i click ok and you can see we have our condition listed here now we have made a mistake here we need to change this now 3000 we cannot get below so it must be greater than or equal to now click ok and here you can change it so if you made any mistake you can change it from here so let's see if all the condition are set correctly so b2 to e2 so that means this range must be less than or equal to 10,000 good all the value from here to here must be above 3,000 now these three are the container maximum capacity it's placed correctly now this range must match this range okay so our condition is set now if i click here solve and you can see we have a result if i click ok and now let's see if our conditions are met correctly so none of this can be below 3000 and it's already done so condition one met correctly now maximum capacity container one cannot be above 10,000 it's okay container two cannot be above 8,000 container three cannot be above 7,500 and container four cannot be above 5,000 and we have our price range and this is the result now this is the total shipping cost and it's optimized to be the minimum okay so this is how you can use the solver edit and this is what i wanted to show you if you can support the channel through patreon or you can use the youtube feature super thanks it will help us a lot and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial